Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the T-67. It's a tier five American turreted tank destroyer. It's located on the east spawn of airfield. And it's under the command of Moller 74. And he's just platooned <laughs> with a T-1 heavy. Game on. Well, they produced two prototypes on the way to producing the M18 Hellcat, and this is one of them. The first one was the T49, and uh, they started developing work in 1942, and by April they had actually managed to uh, come up with the uh, first couple of prototypes, the T49 and the T67. Now, the original tank actually had two Buick 320 cubic inch gasoline engines, and then they switched to the right Continental R975 engines instead, which were extremely powerful, but they were aircraft engines inside a tank. Just as the, uh, we know that the Merlin engine, which was the rated to become the Meteor, was actually in quite a few British tanks. Now this 76 millimeter main gun is capable of 115 alpha, 128 millimeters of pen, and with the APCR, it's going up to, did it show? 177 millimeters of penetration. Okay, finally got a critical hit. Ah, oh, there's his first hit points, and it's a low roll. Now, it does have HE rounds capable as well. 185 hit points and 38 millimeters of pen. He's starting to get pens on that Wolverine, the M10. And he should, because of course the Wolverine's got very similar penetration to um, this vehicle. With very similar armor, I should say, as well. The thickest armor is on the front of the turret. It's only 25 millimeters, very thin indeed. But they did that to try and make this tank destroy very fast. And he's tearing into that T6 medium. It's a bit unfortunate that the T1 Heavy is stopped in a position where it's difficult to get shots. Now he's in trouble because now he will be able to pin that guy. And in fact, he kills the SU-2-122. Okay, still pumping rounds into the T6 medium. It's a very fast fire rate as well. 3.07 seconds is the standard reload. And he's got it down to 2.99. And the uh, T1 Heavy has gone down. Eventually, he was actually taken out by the um, by somebody else, not by us. The T6 medium actually on our team, actually on our platoon, got him. Okay, he's tearing into that chi he now. Now it does have a bit dispersion at long range, and you really do need to dial in if you're going to get accurate shots. Now he did take a round there from an electo. We can't see that electo, but I think he's firing blind into the bushes. Just trying to hit whoever he can. He didn't get spotted as far as I can tell. They just knew that somebody was hitting them from this angle. I think there is an enemy tank round there. Oh, there's a Stug moving up as well. Now he's sticking here at the moment because he can get shots onto the enemy. Look, he punched straight through the front of that Excalibur. But he is using the premium rounds and he needs the premium rounds to get through the armor of the Excalibur because it's very thick at the front and the rear. He's getting tense still. Again, he's not letting it fully dial in before he shoots. And in fact, actually, it will fire before he fully dials in. So he needs to let it settle. Okay, he's used up all his premium rounds now. And now he's starting to have trouble trying to get through the Excelsior. But he can't pen it because he needs the premium. But he did finally get one to overcome the armor. Now he's tearing to shreds the stuff guy. And that guy's a lot of trouble because he can get him with the next shot. And that's it, he's got his fourth kill. Now he's going after the other stood. And that guy's in trouble now, he's a one shot. And uh, oh, we tracked him there. But he gets him, no he doesn't get him now, you need to get him quick. Otherwise your teammate's gonna get him instead. Oh, look at that, unfortunately. His teammate drove in front of him when he's trying to shoot and the Panzer Dai Al J on his own team may have cost him a high caliber. Okay, T1 Heavy starting to take damage now, of course. His best armor is when he's facing the enemy, but 
it's such a long range away as well. We're three tanks up on the enemy. There's a VK 301H. I think we can just about pan him at long range. We did take one round. Oh, that one's in the engine bay. Go for it again. He gets another one. It's getting decent damage here. It's very likely they're going to win the game. They're two up on the enemy still. But the problem is that I think he's going to miss out on getting a high caliber because his teammate drove in front of him just when he was shooting. And that's what's the problem, you see. If you get somebody, your own team, trying to push their way in to get the shots, they might block one of your shots and you end up losing the possibility of getting a high caliber medal. Now, you need to be really careful when that happens. And if they do do that, then obviously you need to make sure that that person never... Um, is able to platoon with you again by uh, blacklisting them because if they're going to do that to you um, then they're going and they do it on a platoon even worse but yeah you don't really you could actually also uh, point out that it's very ungentlemanly for them to take away your chance of getting a high caliber when you're doing most of the damage in the game there's only two enemies left both of them are near the cap area on the enemy team so um yeah we've got a long drive to get to it we do have four kills, and I can see he's frustrated. He's going in, out, in, and out, and we've got one solid solution to that. Is of course we can't do it. You can see he's got three marks of excellence, so he obviously plays the uh, 267 quite a lot. And a lot of super unicorns will do this. They will play a tank like this. There's the electo. Now he's all to aiming. All the electo starting to get hits. And it's, it's a basic slag out between the two, but the T67 will win this. Because, of course, he's got the Alpha and the Electo didn't. And, of course, the fire rate to go. T1 Heavy, can he get the kill and get the Top Gun? It's going to be small consolation. He does. And that wins the game. But, sadly, he's missed out on getting that high calibre. Here's the end of battle results. That was an ace tanker for Muller 74 in the T67. He got a fiver effect for doing more damage in the hit points for his own vehicle. He got a bruise medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 11. And he got a top gun for getting at least six kills, but there's no high caliber. And he did do the highest damage, as you'll see when we go into the details. His win eight in the game was 21,012. He was doing most of the work, as you can see here. I have to scroll the page in order to see all the enemies that he actually hit in that game because he did hit a lot of them and he knew that he had the hit points at the end of the game so he can slug it out with that electo face to face and not worry about losing hit points otherwise uh, most players would be trying to peek a boom at the enemy but uh, with the electo hiding behind that bush and kept firing at him the best thing he can do is just slug it out because he's got the uh, dpm to take out an electo and then pick up that top gun so let's have a look at team score and see what happened. 3,952 hit points. He easily scored the high caliber on that one. 3,952. All he got was the top gun. The next highest scorer who actually picked up the high caliber because he actually was um, disqualified is the T1 Heavy on the enemy team. He had 1,953 hit points, which was more than 20% of the enemy hit pool. Of course, Muller probably actually had closer to 40% of the enemy hit pool on damage. Uh, but because he's been disqualified, it goes to the next highest player who has over 20%. And in this case, that happened to be the T1 Heavy. He got a high caliber and a defender in that game. When it came to kills, yes, he's got the highest, but it's actually alongside the Electo. They both had six kills apiece. Three kills went to the Stug Fia on his own team, and then two kills went to the T6 Medium, which was also one of his platoon mates, and also the Stug Guy Al Swimming G on the enemy team. And when it came to base XP, he's easily scored that one. 1,473 is the only one to get over 1,000. And he's uh, got it by quite a margin as well, because the next highest score was KD1SA, who managed 824, followed by the Stug Fia, who managed to get 648. 58 shots fired, 48 direct hits, 37 penetrations. You get 70 rounds of ammo in this tank, so uh, it is possible to run out of ammo. I've seen that happen. In fact, one of my um, mates, in fact, one of my friends who actually... Uh, um, founded what RT nibs with me um he actually did end up uh, in a game where he 
ran out of ammunition, he actually had to kill two enemy tanks by ramming them to get to, to try and win the game. In actual fact, um, he sideswiped the tanks because, of course, he didn't want to lose too many hit points. So he drove up to them at full speed and then suddenly turned at the last moment so that the rear of his vehicle then sideswiped into the enemy and stripped off the remaining hit points. And that worked for two tanks until, of course, he came across the last enemy who happened to be an M41 HMC. And, of course, he shotgunned my friend at fairly close range. So he missed on. He didn't survive the battle, but at least the game was won by his team. 48 direct hits here by Moller 74, 37 penetrations. Well, he was using a fair amount of APCR in this game, and you do need to use premium ammo to get uh, penetration because, of course, it's fairly weak on the standard ammo at penetrating the front of vehicles like its Calibers and Churchills and the like because, of course, it uh, doesn't have much pen. 3,952 hit points, of which 2,282 were done at more than 300 meters. This is a traditional tank destroyer in the fact that you really do need to shoot at long range in order to uh, ensure that the enemy doesn't fire back because you don't have much in the way of armor. So you can't slug it out with the enemy as he did right at the end with that Electo. Well, he did do that because obviously he had enough hit points left and he could easily take down that Electo before the Electo managed to take down him. Um, but yes, he did do the traditional thing, which is shoot at a distance, use his observation and his ability to pump those rounds out and take the enemy down one by one. He received six hits from the enemy and all six were penetrations, not surprisingly, mainly down to the fact that it's very thin armor. And he also spotted three enemy vehicles, damaged 11 of the enemy team, killed six of them and did 273 hit points of damage assistance in the game. On a premium account, he actually made a small loss, but it was only 837 credits, so I don't think you'd be worried about that. What cost him was the consumables and, of course, the ammunition. Very expensive ammunition, so even though he got a completion bonus for the mission, uh, he still ended up losing overall, but only a small amount. He did get 4,419 experience points as well. But seeing as he's got three marks of excellence on the barrel, I don't think he really is worried about uh, experience other than, you know, just beefing up his crew because they are already a very good crew indeed. He says little but powerful. Yes, the T-67 can be a game winning tank in the hands of somebody who knows how to use it. And if you do use it to your advantages, the fact that it is a very fast tank destroyer as well, it steers like a pig, but it's actually got the top speed of 61 kilometers an hour. So it can be on one side of the battlefield and then go to the other side of the battlefield very, very quickly. And uh, so that makes it very, very effective because, of course, if the enemy, uh, if you're dealing with the enemy on one flank and then you have to deal with the enemy on a completely different flank altogether, you can quickly traverse the battlefield to get at them. So well done to Moller 74. Uh, pity that you actually got disqualified from that high caliber, but I think you just need to blame that uh, uh, that Panzer 3 Ausrung J who did it. And um, there he is, Vlad Mice 2023. Yes, a name that should be added to your blacklist and also to other people's blacklist. Because if he's willing to drive in front of someone who's there shooting, then he really does not deserve to uh, be the recipient of the platoon or any assistance because uh, that we could do without those sort of players because they're the ones who steal medals away from other people. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.